hello and welcome back to my channel today I want to show you how to do a pair of rosebud throw pillows cushions as well as a combination of piping on the end here I have uh, the cord this is going to be used in one inch strips for piping the edge I have the two front pieces cut 18 inches wide each I also have the two back pieces with the zipper already enclosed and you can see my video on how to insert a zipper. Now here I have two pieces with a rosebud which will be inserted in the center. I started out with 19 inch squares, two pieces 19 inch squares which I dotted in one inch sections and for that you can see my video on how to make a rosebud. Now the finished thing is measuring nine and a half inch square. So for this, I am going to cut away eight and a half inches. I have measured a square four and a quarter inches from this side as well. And then I'm just going to take this out, base those in and I'll show you as I go along. Here is the front piece with the four eight and a half, sorry, cut away. The rosebud section is now pinned in place in the center. So I'm going to baste and stitch that down. Here I have basted and stitched in the rosebud section and I have also neatened the edges and this is what it looks like now on the right side. To begin putting on the piping, I am going to place the cord in the center just an inch or so away from the edge and I am going to fold this over in half. Once that is done, I like to begin in the center, so I'm just going to go to the center and begin basting that in as close to the cord as possible. All right, I'm going to continue this all the way around. When I get to the corner that has to be turned in such a way that it is not too tight but gently curve here is the corner done and I'm just going to continue now to complete in the same manner I should tell you your cord the length of cord would be four times what each side measures so if you are using a 16 inch cushion then it would be four times 16 in this case I am using 18 inches so my total cord would be 72 inches and this strip would be about 73 to make allowance for turning over at the finish. This is what it looks like now with the cord all basted in place. So now I am going to turn this over onto the back. With this now pinned in place, I am going to baste and then stitch it together and I'll come back and show you that and remember to leave your zipper halfway down so that it can be opened when you are done here we have the finished product so it has a little of the rosebud in the center and 
some cording or piping around the edges. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share and subscribe.